Now this guy Scrappy challenged God logic and whether the Quran knew what the Injil is. He even mentioned specifically that he will pay the pain ticket if God logic come to debate him on this topic. This is the outcome. Let us watch this incredible debate and I will give my thoughts on the back end. Let me cook, 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 so, calm down, calm down, calm down, calm down, hold it down, hold it down, so I asked the question, what is the angel, and the first thing that our friend does is ask me a question, can you, got logic, Describe to me what the Injil is in the Old Testament and the New Testament since you claim and believe that my Quran affirms you. Dude, I asked, what is the Injil? Time for him. Time okay. for him. Time for him. Can you time for him? Two minutes, yeah? Two minutes. Two minutes. Two minutes. All right, so I'll, I'll, I'll land it with this, okay? Because this is what I will give him. I will give him this. I'll tell him what the Quran says about the Injil, and then I'm going to restate my question. So the Quran in Surah 3 says that the Quran came confirming what came before it, the Torah and the Injil, a guidance beforehand for mankind. Chapter 5, verse 47. Let the people of the world judge by what Allah has revealed therein. So let the people of the gospel judge by the gospel, yes. right? 568, O oh, people of the book, you have nothing to stand on unless you observe the Torah and the what? Angel. And all that has been revealed. So not just that, but all the prophets, the song, all the books, okay? So this is what the Quran says. What is the angel? A revelation given to Jesus for mankind. Now my question is, what is the angel? What is it? What is it? What is it? Are you done? Do, do shout. I didn't talk. So do not shout. He debunked it in one okay. minute, guys. He debunked it in so one minute. So start for me two minutes. Right, yes. in three, two, one, go. Okay, let's go. So number one, I ask him to describe what Injil and Torah is according to Quran and Hadith. He didn't describe it because if you claim something, you need to prove evidence. Otherwise, you can't just speak empty words and using the Quran without context. We need context. What matters is what? Context. So now, so now, calm down, calm down. So he, the verses, calm down. The verses he used, Quran chapter 5, verse 68. He's reading the first bit of the verse. Allah mentioned in that verse, Torah and Injil and the Quran. No, yes, no, yes, no, yes. I can read the Quran. Allah said, Qul ya ahl al -kitabi. All the people of the book, Lastum ala shay. You are not, you are upon nothing. Unless you. Atta tu qimu Torah until you, you establish observe. Torah. Uh -huh. Well, Injil uh -huh. and Injil. Wa ma unzila ilayka. Wa ma unzila ilayka. Ilayku mir Rabbi. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, yes, the verse I'm reading. What is Allah said, and what is been revealed to you with all no, prophet man all wait, wait, wait 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 this verse is talking about all the torah injil and the quran so christians read only that one again we need context what's injil injil it has a description chapter 7 verse 157 example allah told us prophet muhammad is mentioned written written yeah in the previous books which is torah and injil in order in order torah and injil to be the current one which christians have now i want them to show me prophet muhammad where it's written in current torah and injil which they claim to Three, That's two, the description one, of Torah and Injil according to Quran. One description, calm down. Round two. Fight! Let's go. Beautiful. All right, so guys, all right. he made a mistake. Okay. Do three, two, one, Yo, we start so time now. Alright, he made a slight mistake. Mm -hmm. In 568, it doesn't say anything about the Quran. Mm -hmm. It says all that's been revealed. Let's open. It doesn't mention the Quran there. Let's you read, open. you quoted it in Arabic. No, let's the open. word Quran is not there. Let's but open. I appreciate you affirming that the Quran talks about all of our Bible. Mm -hmm. Because it's not it's not just it's not
not just the Torah. It's not just the Torah. It's not just the Angel. But all that's been revealed. That's the Psalms. That's Jeremiah. That's Isaiah. Ezekiel. Malachi. And so on and so forth. So all the Bible. It's, it's Paul. The writings of Paul. The whole New Testament. Right? So that's number one. Here's number two, guys. Number two. I love how he admitted that the Quran says the Angel is with us. That's what he said. He said, it's, he said it's with us. Hold on. It's all good. Hold it down. Hold it down. Yeah, the people on the book. That's right. So, so God, you got it? So it's with us. Hold on. We good? We good? It's with us, right? So he says that Muhammad is written with them in the Torah and the Injil. Now, this is his challenge. His challenge is, I want you, if it's talking about what you have, show me where Muhammad is in your gospel that you have today. Actually, it doesn't work like that. Because if he's not in there, then the Quran is false. Because your Quran lied. Your Quran didn't know what was in the gospel. Okay? So what this shows is, is that one, Muhammad didn't know what the Injil was or what was in it. And neither does Siraj because he hasn't answered the question. What is the Injil? When he's talking, you're not shouting. Oh, no, no, but when no, no, I talk, no, no. he shouts. Hey, 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 so hey, now, losers. Losers. Calm down. Losers. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Okay. Sorry, sorry. Just a quick. Yeah, his time is done, though. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, bear in mind, he can't drink this milk because it's skimmed British milk. Okay. Uh, okay. Nah, no, you're you're just, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Okay. When your time's ready, we'll yes, go, you can speak now. Oh, it's sure? copy. Yes, cut. Okay. Start. Okay. So now, number one, now he failed to prove what Injil and Torah is according to Quran. I said Allah described Torah and Injil. Number one, Allah said Torah and Injil. Prophet Muhammad is mentioned that it's written, not written, written. Yeah, it's written there, it's written. So now, in order the, his Gospels to be the Injil, which, the one which Allah has approved, we need to find Prophet Muhammad there. If he's not there, then Allah is talking about another Injil, not the one he has it. Yes, because... No, no, wait, 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 No, no, you no, 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 I have to start, I have to start. Pause, 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 pause. I have to start, I have to start. Okay, resuming now. Okay, number two, Injil is not written in Greek language. Chapter Quran, chapter 14, verse, no, you, the one you have it. Injil, I'm refuting yours. Yours, I'm refuting yours. Listen, just listen. The one Allah revealed to Jesus is not written in Greek language. The one they have it now, the original manuscript they said is written in Greek. Quran, chapter 14, verse 4. Allah said we have never sent a messenger unless we sent him with his the, with the people with his own tongue I mean, his you, people's you, language so in order in jail to be the gospels the one they have it now should be written in the tongue of jesus and his people and allah said jesus was only sent according to injil was only sent to the people of israelites chapter quran chapter 3 verse 49 the one you have it jesus was sent to gentiles so we have different injil in my injil is not the one you have it simple okay you have seen you the gospel you, you have yes. if you want. okay thank you no okay so now my challenge again five the book you are describing we need context come up with the context five, five, five. all right cool round three but logic Wait. you heard a question yeah i heard you gotta ask the question all right let's see what you do starting now Siraj. How do you know what language the angel was spoke was written? Mm. I'm gonna use my time to let you answer. What, what language was it? You're asking. Yeah. What, what language was it? I'll pause the time so you can. His, his own language. It's not Greek. Okay, no. what, what was it? It's not Greek. What was it? It's Israelite language. What was it? <laughs> the language. Hebrews. Hebrew. What was it? Hebrew. It was Hebrew? Hebrew. Yes. Oh, okay, 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 guys, okay. And Aramaic, according okay. to you. Hebrew and Aramaic? Yes, okay, according guys. to you. Well, of course, okay. No, you said that, I didn't say that. Okay. 
So wait, so I just need, because I don't want to misrepresent you. Okay. So the language of Jesus was Hebrew and Aramaic? Yes. Yes? yes. Quiet! Okay. All right, guys. I'll pause okay. it, I'll so pause it, I'll pause it. Hold on, guys, guys, let's calm down, yeah? We're Christians, okay? You speak two languages, yes? All right. Yep. <laughs> no, according to them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you just speak two languages. I said according to him. Okay. If you read, no, 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 you said that no, you said that's your answer. From the Hebrew scriptures. You, you said that's your answer. According to him. No, no, don't say according to me. So this is why I got to do this again. Okay. So I asked Siraj what language was the Injil written in. In Jesus' he language. He said it was in Jesus' language. Yes. I said, what was that? He said Hebrew and Aramaic. Yep. That's but then now his, his escape is according to you. Uh, I didn't, did I say what his language was? No. Okay. All right, all right slow down. So let's let's see his answer again. Okay. What was Jesus' language? Jesus' language was Israelite's language. What was? In Hebrew. <laughs> Hebrew? Yes. All right, so now According he, to you, Aramaic. See, okay, but Hebrew. You're going to give what Hebrew? Yes. All right, good. So we're going with Hebrew. So Jesus spoke in Hebrew. Mm. Yes. Where in the Quran does it say that? Oh. Okay. Okay. Oh. I can answer. Shall I answer? Yeah. Okay. Just okay. please, first. Wait, wait, wait. Do you want to end your time? You can pause it. Because I, I have a follow-up question. Yeah. Okay. So... Same question applies to him. Show me in the Bible where Jesus used to speak Greek language. Show me why in the Bible Jesus used to speak Hebrew. Same question. Okay. I'm asking the same question. Show me where Jesus spoke Greek in your Bible. I got you. I got you. Okay. Let's go. Did anybody hear me say what language Jesus spoke? No. No. Okay. What's his language according to you? Wait, wait, wait. What's his language according to you? Let's go. Answer. What's his language? Wait, wait. What is Jesus' language according to Bible? My answer. friend, my friend, I'm coming. I'm coming. Oh, okay, I'm coming. answer that I'm question. What's his language according coming, to your I'm Bible? I'm coming. I'm coming. Yes. Wait for me. Wait for me. Okay, okay we're gonna start so, again. So, yeah, yeah. No question. Wait for me. Wait for me. Wait for me. So, and because he's incapable of answering this question, because his Quran doesn't tell him. Look, this is why this is important. He's trying to tell me what the Injil is not when he can't tell me what the Injil is. You see? Yeah. So he has to say, oh, it was written in Jesus' language. What was that? He can't tell me. Hebrew. Mm. Wait, where does your Quran tell me that? Well, where does your Bible say he spoke this? I never said anything. Mm. So notice okay, how... Okay, what was Jesus... Now I want you to speak. No, answer, answer. Uh -huh. I want him to answer, yeah? What is in Jesus' language according to the Bible? Okay. In all due respect, you got about 15 seconds left. Yeah. So guys, I was able to deal with things he said in the beginning. But now I'm not going to tolerate any more questions on his side. Right. Now, because, no, you need to answer. Wait, me, what was Jesus' language? You can't go round and round. So it's gone from the Bible. Gone. Gone. He's running away now. Even ill. Okay. Even ill. Even ill. He got about eight seconds left. Okay. He got yeah. about eight seconds left. Okay. Okay. Let me start again. So, so I asked a few questions, guys. What was my first question? What is the in jail? What was my second question? What language did Jesus speak? Right? And then the third one okay, was, finished. what was the language that the angel was written? Let's see if in this two minutes, he answers one. At least one. At least one. At least one. Okay. I'm sorry. Okay. 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 Wait, wait, wait. Don't say three. Don't say three. No, no, no. Two minutes. Two minutes. My time. My time. Okay, okay. Okay. Christians always claim the language. Wait, wait, wait. Come down. Come down. Come down. I apologize. Yeshua. Christians always claim what Jesus' language is Greek. He asked me a challenge. He said to me, he asked me to show me, he asked me to show me that Jesus, what was the language of Jesus from the Quran, yes? So same thing applies to him. I want him to show me what language Jesus used to speak, what was his mother language, what was his people's language from the Bible. He can't show me. So now we agree, both of us, we agree the language of Jesus, his mother language, his own tongue, is not Greek. He cannot prove me wrong. We know the language of Jesus is, is, is Hebrew. We know the language of Jesus is not, is not Greek. We know the people of, of Jesus are not Greek people. So now, in order the Gospels to be the ones he have, Gospel and Injil, in order Injil to be the ones he have, now the Gospels, not Gospel, yeah? I want him to show me what language was Jesus Jesus used to speak. Now, Quran affirms two things: Jesus was sent to the people of Israelites, not to Greek, not to Gentiles. Jesus' language was not Greek because his people were Israelites. Therefore, 
his mother language, his people's language, definitely 100%, according to Quran, is not Greek. We agree, me and him, I and him now. It's not Greek, the language of Jesus, and Jesus was not sent to Greek people. So, and the Bible and Injil is not for Gentiles. So, the description, according to Islam, of Injil and the description of Gospels is different. So, you cannot use Quran to justify your points when the Quran is describing Injil different ways than your Gospels. So, what language was Jesus used to speak? I described Injil, and I said Injil is not. And uh, it's not written in Greek, Two. but I use the Quran. And I said, in Jesus, ah. it's for Jesus' big people, not Gentiles. I answered. So now, what's my question? What's my question? What's my question? What's my question? question doesn't matter, bro. Now, what's my question? Can I talk? What language was Jesus? In what book? Show me from the Bible that Jesus used to speak Aramaic. Or hold Greek, on, his on, own on, language, on, mother on. language is Greek or Aramaic. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Greek, I want Greek first of all. What? Don't. He didn't, he didn't say anything about Yeah, Greek. I'm asking him to answer. But what was the language of Jesus? Does it matter? He, he asked, yes, it doesn't he, he, matter. He, 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 it's like me speaking in Arabic and I write a book I, in I Chinese. So okay. Jesus spoke can in I, Chinese can as well. Can I, can I, yeah, can it doesn't make sense. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> he speak, hey, he speaks Arabic though. Yeah, yeah, Jesus yeah, yeah, yeah. spoke Arabic. Arabic. Yeah. Doesn't make sense. <laughs> Jesus language, relax, relax. Jesus never knew how to speak Greek. I challenge speak any Arabic. Christian to show me from the Bible. What's your native tongue? Any Christian to show me from the Bible that Jesus used to speak Greek. Please answer my question. No, answer my question. You can't just ask me all the time. Answer my question. No, answer my question. No, I'm asking. Go know, know, the know, language of Jesus. No, answer, question. then you can ask me. So you don't have a... No, answer, answer. I, I guess you can answer. 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 All right, so guys. Uh, what was the language of Jesus? Be, this be it. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on. Yeah. The language of Jesus. Okay. From the Bible. All right, guys. So, um, I don't... This is, what I, this is probably why... He, like, he says he came to my TikTok, and he says that I muted him, and then I kicked him out. Is he this would be why. Oh. This would be why. Yeah. Because he literally... This brother has not answered a single question. Not I had three of them, three simple ones. And I'm sorry for saying three, my Muslim friends. <laughs> but I had three simple questions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What is the NGO? What language was it written in? And what was the language of Jesus? He couldn't answer a single one. So what am I supposed to do here? What, 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 what are we doing here, man? Come on, man. Come on, man. So look, let me let me tell you guys why this is important, all right? Because you look, 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 look. You guys, all of you guys, all of you guys, listen, listen, listen. All of you guys can use this as an argument against any da'i because they will sound as brilliant as Siraj did today. I promise you, all you gotta do, ask them. Don't tell them what the gospel is. Don't give them nothing. Just ask them, what is the NGO? They can't tell you. But listen, I, well, well, what you can do is you can show them that the same reasons why they reject our gospel is the same reason they should reject the Injil and the Quran. Right. Because let me tell you why. They say, we don't know who wrote the gospels. Do you know who wrote the Injil? No. Do you know who wrote it? Do you know what language it, it, it was? It was written in Greek, not in Jesus' tongue. Do you know what his tongue was? No. no. Do you know what the language of the Injil was written in? No. Looks like we in the same boat. Looks like my anonymous, looks like my anonymous, non-native Hebrew Aramaic gospel is the same Injil he's talking about. Well, there's no difference. Thanks for coming, man. Okay, let me speak. So long. Wait, 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 wait. Sign of losers. So now, so now, so time for me. So now, listen, listen. God logic, he cannot describe in Jesus according to Quran and Hadith number one. He said to me, what language was Jesus used to speak? I give him, I prove to him that the language of Jesus is not Greek from the Quran. And Jesus was sent to to only to his people. So now he cannot describe the Injil according to Quran and Hadith, but he's claiming and making false claims by using the Quran. So now, let me come to the point. So tell me any eyewitness who saw the disciples
when they were writing the Gospels. So now, what I'm asking, what was the language of Jesus? He did not answer. I described in Jill according to Quran, and I said the language of Jesus is not Greek. So now, so now, 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 come, come. Come, come in. No, no. Truth be told, the Quran has no idea what the Injil is. So in other words, it can't say to Christians that we do not have it. The Quran never mentioned what the Injil is. It never goes in specific as to where it is or what it is. So the question is, what is the Injil? And do Christians have the Injil today? Absolutely. Now the Injil is good news. This is what's related in the Bible, the Old and New Testament. And while they both correspond, the Quran contradicts them both, proving itself to be irreliable on telling anyone what the Injil is. And so we are sure that Christians have the truth from the beginning until the head. Brothers and sisters in Christ, I pray these few words spoken by me was well received. I pray God will bless you and bless your house. I pray they will preserve you and preserve your family. And until we meet again, I absolutely love you all. Be blessed in Christ as we await his coming.